Fox News announces a new primetime lineup. So as all of you know, a lot of scheduling changes are in tow here because of Tucker Carlson no longer being with Fox News at the time of this video. So to start things off, the Ingram angle will actually be kicking things off in the primetime slot at 7 p.m. Eastern time for all of these times, of course. And then that will be followed by Jesse Waters' prime time. And then you'll have Hannity. His slot will actually be continuing to air at 9 p.m. And then Gutfeld will be beginning at 10 p.m. Eastern time as a result. So as I mentioned, Tucker Carlson is out at Fox News. And as a result of that, that has caused them to have to fill these gaps in time in order to replace that viewership, that, that gap in the actual schedule. So the month of May was the first full month without cable news primetime host Tucker Carlson. So as a result of that, things have changed. The way that viewership numbers have gone have changed. And the way that people view Fox Network as a whole has, of course, changed as well. So Fox News continued to, do, to top the primetime and total day viewers, but the margins have narrowed considerably with MSNBC. So what you're seeing is some of these viewership numbers are starting to change and shift a little bit. As some people are kind of backing out, maybe you might have some new people, I don't know, but the idea is that you don't have this big star player there anymore on the news channel. So Fox News averaged 1.42 million viewers in primetime, which was actually a 37% drop from the same month of last year. So year over year, there was a pretty significant, almost a 40% drop in overall viewership. So since uh, dropping Carlson in April, Fox News has filled this time slot, of course, with guest hosts and tried to fill that gap in there. But Carlson actually averaged 3.25 million viewers in March. Now, keep in mind, though, that was his last full month. So I think a lot of people were probably tuning in because of that. And as a result, it was also the month where he aired the January 6th security footage. So that was a big deal as well. Now, the temporary hosts that have averaged... Uh, that have been on the show have actually averaged about half that viewership. So clearly, you know, you can't just put anybody in that time slot. No, it's not that people are willing to just hang in there and just kind of watch whoever is going to be in that particular time slot at the moment. It's all going to be based on who it is, and particularly around Tucker Carlson, of course. So it's not all bad news for Fox News, though. There is There are some things that they can actually look forward to in the future when we start looking at some of these numbers. So first of all, Jesse Waters' prime time. His actual launch last year has since emerged as the fastest growing cable news program. Now, that's a big deal for them because uh, what that means is that there are at least some people that are new faces that are growing, that are actually uh, building kind of their own dedicated viewership as well. Now, Waters will continue to co-host The Five which was the most watched pro, uh, cable news program as well, which is actually quite surprising when you look at the fact that uh, cable numbers in general are tending to dwindle. People are starting to shift their focus and their attention on things like YouTube and other types of podcasts, media, and creating their own kind of channels that way. So it's quite interesting that you still have these avenues still growing, still thriving, and doing well right now. So Sean Hannity, of course, continues to break records. He has the longest running uh, primetime cable news uh, show, and he's the longest running host, of course, and he's been basically dominating that entire sector for 14 years straight since the year 2009. So we'll see where things go. Right now, as it stands, like I said, Tucker Carlson gone from Fox News. Viewership numbers have changed. You have some new time slots, some new things are trying to shift around. Clearly, the guest host idea wasn't working. You can't just put anybody in the chair during a an hour slot and expect to see the same viewership. The idea is that the people that are in this pl in place for these different videos and for these these shows do in fact matter. They build a reputation, they build a, a viewership base. So we'll kind of have to see, wait and see where these numbers line up in the future. Of course, maybe three months from now, maybe six months from now. How is that going to look as we get closer to the election? Are the are, are these hosts still going to be able to pull the same numbers? Are they going to be fully affected by these by the pullout from Tucker Carlson? And the the idea, too, is that a lot of people may shift to other news networks, such as this one, or maybe a Newsmax or other things like that. So we'll see what happens as time goes on. But I thank you for watching this video, and we'll see you on the next one.